Welcome viewers to our final video of the year. Cam and James, welcome to the video. Thanks for having us. Now we're coming to you today from 88 at 80 Trenary Crescent. Hey, this is a beautiful penthouse apartment. It's coming up for auction in a week or so. Three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, two car spaces as well. If you haven't viewed this one, come and check it out. Now James, amazing finish to the year. Can wow. you give us a quick recap? Absolutely, what a year it's been, Ed. Over 100 sales for our team, over 300 sales for the Biggin and Scott team as well. Yeah, and congratulations, uh, the awards recently, the Big and the Scott Richmond office took out the sales award. Well done to the team there. And also the property management team, a great effort for the uh, for the guys there as well. Now for the awards, Cam. James, our best performing single front. Yeah, Julie sold 104 Buckingham Street, which was a fantastic effort, 1.8 million. And our double front? Uh, Ed. I'm gonna say 20 Wellington Street, also from Julie's team, 2,155, so well done to them there. James, best performing townhouse. It's gotta be one at one Princess Street. Fantastic result. We had three bidders on the day. It went from two million up to 2.5 million, sold under the hammer. I think five years before it sold for 1.5. Yeah, around 1.5, so almost went up a million dollars in. Wow. Five extraordinary, great clients there. Thank you very much for that. And Cam, best apartment. Our, the best apartment is 1002 at 1 Dyer Street. That is an undisclosed apartment, but it looked fantastic, beautiful apartment, and Andy and Talia did really, really well with that. That they did. James, most rewarding sale? Probably not on Cameron Street, recently, Ed. I think so. Look, I mean, we started a fair way back in negotiations, terrific buyers and sellers, and obviously very satisfying bringing that one together. So, James, most challenging sale? Easy, 11 Carter Street. Joe did an awesome job there. She did. Initially listed by an out-of-area agent for probably a little, little bit too high. Uh, we brought them back in line and managed to, uh, yeah, Joe managed to sell that one, which was great. And Cam, the quickest sale of the year? Quickest sale would be 100 uh, Little Charles Street in Abbotsford. Did sell at auction, unfortunately didn't settle. Sold within an hour of hitting the market back again. And Ed, the longest uh, property to sell on the market? I'm gonna say 9 Bennett Street. Our good ex-colleague Ben listed that. Probably a little bit optimistic on Benny's behalf there, but uh, Ended up selling it. James took it to auction about four months later after being a private sale. Ended up selling it for over 900, which in the end was good money, so well done. So James, just a couple of auction weekends now left for the year, but we've got some stuff coming through for 2019. Even stuff that's being offered on a soft launch off market. Campaigns are starting when for the new year? And how does that work? Look, some fantastic opportunity over summer for buyers. The soft launch off market approach is quite busy sometimes with buyers still hanging around. So if properties aren't sold over that period, so we will be looking to launch for the uh, 19th of January, which will coincide with the 9th of February auction for the first weekend for the year. So Ed, what's Russ been up to? Hey, special shout out to Russ, winning $5,000 for Heart Kids for uh, Property Tycoon for the largest portfolio in a tipping competition. So I know it's on social media, but Russ, that's a terrific effort and well done there. Absolutely. I'd just like to take this opportunity as well at the end of the year to thank all of our wonderful suppliers, our clients, our stylists, our tradespeople. Without these people behind the scenes, we obviously couldn't get these properties sold. So a special shout out to those people. Administration as well, behind the scenes. We've got a terrific uh, support there. Michelle Carter for her tireless work as well. And also to the schools and the charities and the organisations as well that we sponsor and we're a part of. We really do appreciate that involvement and it's a big part of what we do. So thank you kindly. To the viewers, we have a magnificent time each month putting these videos together. We really hope you enjoy them. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful Christmas, New Year's, a safe holiday, and we look forward to seeing you again in the new year.